Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing? Today we are going to be trying out a new indie eyeshadow palette that I got by Pure Luck. So that is going to be the Flare Collection Remix palette from It's Bell Cosmetics. Basically, I didn't even know that this was launching, but I happened to go on Instagram and I saw a story about someone picking this up like 10 minutes after it had launched and I just went on the website and purchased it right away because I figured you guys would like to see a video on this because as soon as I said I was intrigued, I wanted to know what the quality was like. I thought the colors were pretty, so luckily I was able to grab it before it sold out. So here is what it looks like. It's just a really beautiful, sparkly, shiny, all metallic palette. I mean, there's just so many pretty kind of blue, purple colors happening here. I could not resist. And if I remember correctly, I want to say this palette is like $27 or something like that. So I figured it would be worth a shot. So we're just going to go ahead and do some swatches and try it out today. I'll probably pull in some mattes from a different palette somewhere after we do the swatches and I can kind of decide what direction I want to go with the eye look. And then also I have the Break the Rules palette here, which I bought from It's Bell Cosmetics a few months ago. And when I purchased this, I actually grabbed the Lolly Gloss as well. And I meant to do like this gloss in the first impression, but I forgot about it and I haven't used it. So we can just go ahead and do a first impression on this as well. I think their glosses were like five or six dollars each or something. This is the shade Mocha Pop. So we can go ahead and try that out today. Oh, and here are all of the... Um, ingredients and everything just in case you want to pause it and read it for yourself so jumping right on into the swatches the first shade we have is morganite and this looks like a really beautiful duochrome it's super smooth and it's like that kind of like pink to like like neon green kind of shift so there is morganite super pretty next we have the shade star ruby and this is another super smooth shade this one feels almost like a little bit more wet to the touch and it's kind of just like your classic blue, purple, burgundy kind of shift happening. Again, super pretty. Next we have the shade Citrine, which I feel like these two in the palette kind of stand out the most. They don't follow the rest of the color story as well. I think that if those two had been more cool toned, it would have been really, really pretty. Just like the perfect blue teal purple shimmer accessory palette but anyways citrine looks super super sparkly kind of looks like a greeny gold kind of fall multi-chrome type shade i mean honestly the first three shades alone they do have multiple shifts going on so i feel like if you're looking for affordable multi-chromes these look nice maybe not the same like quality or like intensity as the ones that you would pay more for like I'm thinking like it's really sparkly and pretty but it's not quite as intense as like Cleona or Davina but it could still be a good alternative next we have the shade Laramar which I'm so excited about because it looks like the most stunning blue purple shade oh okay that is I don't know if you can tell but it like basically ended it right away it's super super creamy and like malleable in the pan but there's what that one looks like I feel like that's probably what I'm going to end up putting all over my lid because it's so stunning. Oh yeah. So pretty. Super sparkly and the shift is just chef's kiss. Next we have the shade Rose Water and this kind of looks like, like a silver, purple, light green kind of moment. It actually looks like an even more intense version of Nas from the Glam Light Michaela palette. So pretty. It's like the princess multi-chrome. I don't know why that just that's the vibe it's giving. There's definitely sirens in the background. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. Okay, next we have the shade Amethyst, which this one looks less intense. Oh yeah, that's pretty lackluster. It's like a it's like a bluey purple with a pinky purple shift, but it's so so subtle, especially compared to everything else happening. It's a little like wah wah wah. In comparison next we have the shade aquamarine this one is a little bit more on the smooth side a little bit more intense but not like to the level of these ones um, but this is like a nice like kind of teal blue purple and the teal is just very very strong love those colors oh yeah that one's very intense next we have aronite which is another like green blue kind of golden Shifting shadow. I feel like these all look so pretty. I don't even know what I want to do Okay, 
And then we have Lapis Lazuli, which looks like kind of more intense, like, um, like indigo, purple, cobalt blue shifting shade. So yeah, overall, definitely a very pretty palette. I mean, as long as it lasts on the eyes and everything, I would say it's probably going to be worth the money. Like, t again, I can't remember exactly how much pay I paid for it, but it was like less than $30. For those shades, I think is kind of a steal. They look so, so nice. Here's what they look like up close, and hopefully you can kind of see the different shifts and everything. Okay, so jumping on into the eye look for the matte shades, I'm gonna be using the Menagerie Cosmetics Flight Club palette, and I'm gonna start off with this shade right here called A Little Baddie, and I'm just gonna throw that through my crease. I don't know why I was just thinking this palette the mattes in here would be really pretty, and I really love the matte formula in the Flight Club palette, so I love reaching back into it. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take this purple right here called Flighty, and just focus that on my outer V. Just lightly blending it in. So I think that's a good base. Let's go ahead and jump on in to the Flare palette. I'm gonna start off on my lower lash line with a little bit of the shade Lapis Lazuli. I feel like I lost all my pencil brushes. <laughs> I don't know where any of them went. That's too big. Okay, I think I found one. Hopefully it's not too big. Let's go ahead and just throw this along the outer third. Just kind of see what we can do with this. I mean, it is picking up and it looks sparkly. Now, just to see how it looks on the eyes, I'm gonna go into the shade Amethyst. Maybe just run that along the rest of the inner portion of the lower lash line. Definitely gonna have to build that up a little bit to get it to show all the way, but it does look pretty. Now, for my lid, like I said, I'm gonna go into that shade Laurie Mar. It just looks so, so pretty, and I'm gonna use my finger just because it looks kind of like a super shock shadow. I don't know if you can see right there. I guess it just moves around a lot, so I think the finger is just gonna be the best option. All right. Ooh, okay. So pretty. My goodness. Okay, kind of in love. <sighs> Not getting a ton of fallout either, thankfully. Okay, I don't know how well this is gonna work, but I think I wanna go into that shade Rose Water for my inner corner. <sighs> I, th mm, okay, let's see. All right, it's picking up well with the brush, but I think just because I don't wanna get a ton of fallout, I am gonna go ahead and spray it. Okay, just adding a little tiny bit. Definitely very pretty. I feel like this look just went like mermaid vibes real quick. I love, 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 love that color story. I feel like something about like having that purple base and like blending into the mattes, but having that teal shift looks so pretty. All right, not to toot my own horn, it's definitely the eyeshadow that I'm happy with, not myself, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the Nabla Cupid's Arrow, Arrow number three liner, just to keep that burgundy action going and throw that in my waterline. And then I'm gonna finish off with the Makeup Geek Extension Effect Mascara. Okay, so to finish up my face really quickly, I'm gonna go into the ColourPop Extra Glaze Cheek Palette and just take this pink right here, adding just a little bit of color to my cheekbones. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go into the Sydney Grace Enduring Love Palette and I'm gonna go into this light pink right here called Romeo. Just adding a little bit of glow. Y'all, I was looking through for a lip gloss to wear and I'm like, are you kidding me? I almost forgot about the lolly gloss again, but not today. We're gonna go ahead and throw Mocha Pop on. Ooh, okay, that's such a pretty cool toned brown lip gloss. I feel like that would definitely be a vibe for fall. Very comfortable as well. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look, and I feel like there's not that much to say. The shades are beautiful. The eye look turned out beautiful. 
I'm happy with my purchase. I think that if you like the colors that are in here, if you want some more affordable multi-chromes, if you enjoy an all shimmer palette, then this might be for you. I'd love to know if any of y'all picked it up and what you're thinking about it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.